okay guys so in this uh, tutorial we are going to see first scheduling algorithm that is first come first serve scheduling algorithm okay now what is meant by first come first serve, first serve scheduling algorithm if we are having n number of processes then out of n number of processes uh, which are stored in ready queue the scheduling algorithm if we apply first come first serve scheduling algorithm will select process which arrived first okay for example consider we are having three processes p1 p2 and p3 and uh, they are having some burst time okay like 20 suppose 24 3 and 3 now this first time is normally in millisecond okay the process p1 arrive first so obviously we'll take p1 first for execution after p1 p2 will arrive first then we'll take p2 for execution and after that we'll take p3 for execution okay now for every process if we want to calculate uh, waiting time turnaround time and all these things completion time we must have to draw gun chart okay we have to draw gun chart a gun chart is nothing but a real representation of the processes, their arrival time and their completion time, okay, and as well as waiting time, okay. So we'll we'll get to know uh, idea about the execution sequence of the processes through gun chart, okay. So we'll start our gun chart with zero, okay. Now at this instant we are taking p1 process for execution because it is arrived first and as per the first come first serve scheduling algorithm we must have to execute this process okay now it is burst time is 24 millisecond so after 24 millisecond or at 24 millisecond it will be terminated it will be executed completely okay now after complete execution of p1 process p2 process will go for execution okay now it is first time is 3 millisecond so 24 plus 3 is 27 okay now after this p3 process we go for execution again burst time of p3 process is 3 millisecond so 27 plus 3 30 millisecond okay now this is our gun chart okay it is called as gun chart okay after this if we want to calculate suppose waiting time for each process okay then we can see p1 process waiting time is 0 millisecond because when all the processes are available we first took p1 process and its waiting time is 0 millisecond but p2 process waiting for 24 millisecond to execute or to get access to the cpu so waiting time of P2 process is 24 and waiting time of P3 process is 27 because still 27 millisecond P3 process waited for CPU access. So if we calculate average waiting time then it is nothing but addition of all this waiting time divided by number of processes. So we are having 3 processes so 0 plus 24 plus 27 divided by 3 is equal to 17 millisecond okay so this is related to first come first serve scheduling algorithm